Yo what's up guys it's Atrix here today in this video we'll be taking a look at winlater 1.1 brand new update the first ever update of winlater and i'll be showing you some settings which you should apply if you want to emulate your games without facing any issues and right here is the change log of winlater 1.1 added experimental turnip adreno 7 series drivers improved input controls improved cursor controls and other improvements previously there was one major problem with this emulator that was the cursor being unoptimized it was super fast but anyways let me open edit container section and show you guys the best settings. In my experience of WinLater, I noticed that if you decrease the screen size, you get better FPS by a little bit and the default graphics driver is set turnip plus zing but if your games do not boot if they just stay as it is like a blank screen then I recommend you guys to use software LLVM pipe graphics driver and uh, Wine D3D 8.0. Now I am not sure uh, if I need to use this just because my device has Adreno 7 series GPU, Turnip plus Zinc GPU driver should be better for performance but if your games do not open then obviously you have to switch to a software graphics driver and use Virgil graphics driver if you have a device with Mali GPU or else WinLater won't work for you. In terms of processor affinity make sure to tick mark all of them and also enable show FPS option. Scroll down. Here in GPU name you can set anything like GTX 470, GTX 1070 etc and video memory size set it to 2048 MB or 4096 according to the RAM which you have. In my case I have 16 GB of RAM so 4096 MB it is for me. I'd also recommend you guys to add custom drives and choose your specific folder. It just makes using WinLater way easier, way better than using Box64 Droid in my opinion. So if you have done all of these settings which I have shown you guys, set the graphics driver to software, uh, DX wrapper to Wine D3D 8.0 then you should be fine to get this running but let me go to input controls and show you guys that the cursor speed has been finally fixed in this latest update uh, you can also control the overlay opacity as before but let me just go ahead and uh, go back to containers and i'll start the container we'll take a look at gameplay as well in today's video i'll be trying to play nfs most wanted 2012 which is one of my favorite games but more on that later on in today's video let's toggle full screen mode and uh, let me zoom in so you guys can see uh, the custom drive which I added. Now what you have to do is tap on start, afterwards go to system tools, wine configuration and choose our windows version. Uh, this is uh, useful if you have games which do not support uh, windows 7, by default it is set to windows 7 so you can change it to windows 8 or windows 10, I'll go with windows 10. So let's click on apply and then click on ok. Now all you have to do is open your custom drive. And uh, we'll be trying out NFS Most Wanted as I said before so let me just go ahead and open the game and I'll show you guys the FPS which we get. At the top left side you will notice the FPS bar. Now as we enabled uh, in the container settings we enabled show FPS option that's why it will be updated continuously at the top left side. This is a great integration in my opinion. Also you can press back and start the input controls, RTS just go ahead and tap on OK and there we have our touch controls and EA Sports. So the game is about to begin but as I was saying the FPS bar is constantly updated. It might have some flickering issues here and there. At first I thought that the FPS flickering issue may also be related to game but that was not the case. You can see the FPS bar is flickering whereas the graphical output inside game is pretty fine. Now let's talk about the FPS bar. We are literally getting around 5 to 6 FPS which is not considered to be playable at all. I believe that this low FPS problem might be because of me using software renderer instead of uh, Turnip plus zinc graphics driver but if i didn't use it then my game just wouldn't go in game and uh, let me know in the comment section down below if you guys use turnip plus zinc graphics driver then let me know does your game go in game or if it does not go try using software graphics driver and see if that game now goes in game or not i'm guessing that the problem might be because of my device having snapdragon 8 gen 2 processor and adreno 7 series gpu but right here you can see the game has started its cutscene uh, the beginning intro screen of nfs mw and i have to say it's really terrible compared to box 64 droid it's not really great uh, in box 64 droid for nfs rivals i was getting around uh, 10 to 12 fps on my snapdragon 888 device whereas for nfs most wanted which is supposed to be two plus year old game uh, than nfs rivals is not even performing well 
I am just getting 3 to 4 FPS, that's not considered playable bro. So in my opinion, I wouldn't recommend you guys to use Winlater for emulation for now. Make sure to be patient and I am pretty sure that in the upcoming updates, the emulation performance will be improved by a lot. So see you guys next time, thanks for watching, goodbye.